Stress management acts as a compass in this ocean. Techniques like deep breathing, positive visualization, and regular physical activity are the coordinates that guide us back to balance. Developing this emotional stability is not an easy task, but it is profoundly liberating. Setting boundaries. Have you noticed how sometimes we feel overwhelmed because we don't say no when necessary? Imagine your life as a garden. Boundaries are like fences that protect your precious plants. Without them, anyone can come in and trample the flowers, right? But when you have these fences, you choose who can enter and how they can interact with your space. Setting boundaries is an act of courage of saying, this is me and this is what I need to feel respected and safe. And you know what? By doing so, you not only protect yourself, but also teach others to respect your space creating relationships based on mutual respect. Speaking openly about your boundaries is not a sign of selfishness, but of self-awareness and self-respect. Now, I invite you to take action. Think about your boundaries. Are they clearly defined? If not, what is the first step you can take today to start establishing them? Energy intelligence. Have you ever stopped to think that just like we charge our cell phones every day to ensure they work, we also need to recharge our energy? I'm not just talking about getting good sleep or taking vacations. I'm referring to energy intelligence, the art of managing your own energy in a way that influences not only yourself, but also those around you, creating a calm environment and promoting healthy behaviors. Think about meditation, for example. More than just a moment of peace and quiet, meditation is a powerful tool for recalibrating the mind and body allowing you to reconnect with your center and generate positive energy. Just as we choose quality fuel for a car to perform better, the type of food we consume can be the fuel we need to optimize our energy. A balanced diet, rich in nutrients, not only nourishes the body, but also the mind. But here's an insight. Managing your own energy is not limited to individual practices. It also involves knowing how your energy affects others and how you can positively influence the environment around you. Have you ever noticed how the presence of someone calm and centered can reassure an entire room? That's the power of energy intelligence. Now I invite you to reflect. How are you managing your energy? Are you giving yourself the right fuel? both mentally and physically, small practices incorporated into your routine, such as meditation and mindful eating, can make a big difference. Focus on goals. In our daily journey towards success and personal fulfillment, one skill stands out as crucial, the ability to maintain focus on our objectives. Believe me, it's not just about having a list of goals, it's about the inner strength to stay on course. This is where emotional intelligence comes into play, our true superpower. Individuals with high emotional intelligence have a sharp radar to identify and protect themselves against toxic influences. They understand that the environment around them can either energize or drain their motivation. How do they do this? Firstly, through self-awareness, recognizing their emotions and how they influence their actions. This deep understanding enables them to remain calm and clear, even when surrounded by negativity. Moreover, the ability of empathy, another pillar of emotional intelligence, helps to understand the motives behind others' actions without allowing them to affect their emotional balance. Instead of being dragged into others' dramas, these individuals use empathy to protect themselves and move forward, keeping their goals in sight. Imagine your goal as a lighthouse on the horizon. The waves and storms are the distractions and toxic people that arise along the way. With your internal compass of emotional intelligence, you can navigate through these turbulent waters without losing sight of your lighthouse, adjusting the sails, your actions and reactions to stay the course. What are the lighthouses you are seeking? How have the waves tried to steer you off course? And most importantly, how can you adjust your sails to maintain focus on what truly matters? 
facing and overcoming obstacles with resilience and emotional intelligence. So keep focused, protect your energy, and move forward, for the true power lies within you. Transform challenges into triumphs, stress into strength, uncertainty into clarity. Control of negative self-talk. You know that internal critic that seems to have a megaphone always ready to highlight our flaws and fears? This negative self-talk can be one of the biggest obstacles to our well-being and personal growth. However, with the right techniques, it's possible to transform this critic into an ally, promoting a positive self-image and reducing anxiety. First, let's talk about reframing thoughts. Imagine that every negative thought is like a dark cloud in the sky of your mind. Reframing these thoughts is like finding the silver lining in those clouds. Another powerful technique is the practice of mindfulness. This means being fully present in the moment, observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment. When we find ourselves caught in a whirlwind of negativity, mindfulness helps us take a step back. Observe those thoughts as passing clouds and not as absolute truths. With this perspective, we can choose which thoughts deserve our energy and which we can let go of. Additionally, gratitude is an underestimated tool in controlling negative self-talk. At the end of each day, try to list three things you're grateful for. This simple act can shift your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life nurturing a more positive view of yourself and the world around you. Finally, remember that self-compassion is essential. We all have moments of doubt and insecurity, but offering ourselves compassion, as we would to a friend, can make a big difference. The next time your internal dialogue becomes harsh, ask yourself, would I say this to someone I love? If the answer is no, it's time to adjust the conversation. Changing negative self-talk isn't something that happens overnight. But with practice and patience, it's possible to transform this internal critic into a motivational coach. Solution-oriented approach. In a world that often seems filled with challenges, the ability to maintain a solution-oriented mindset can be your golden compass. It's a mentality that instead of dwelling on problems and obstacles, actively seeks practical solutions. This approach not only makes us more resilient in the face of adversity, but also empowers us to harness the power of creativity, adaptability, and cooperation, turning obstacles into opportunities to move forward, finding new paths and possibilities where others see dead ends. When we face a problem, it's easy to get stuck in how we've always done things, but it's in the ability to think outside the box that we often find the answers we seek. A constantly changing world, the ability to adapt and mold oneself to new circumstances is crucial. This means being willing to learn, adjust, and sometimes accept that the first solution that comes to mind may not be the best. Many problems are too complex to be solved alone. By joining forces with others, sharing knowledge, skills, and perspectives, we can find more effective and sustainable solutions. Cooperation highlights the importance of each individual and how together we can achieve more than the sum of our parts. When faced with problems that arise, is your first reaction to focus on obstacles or seek solutions? Remember, True strength lies in the ability to maintain calm and clarity, even in the midst of chaos.